Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Like I said at the beginning of the show, we had some industry leaders on today, Chip Kemp with IGS. I want to thank you for being here. So, like I said, I'm, I was just telling you this before we came back. I'm not going to talk much. I'm going to let you go right into it. Kind of explain to everybody at home your background in the industry and how you got started and what led you to IGS and what IGS is. Okay. Well, we won't waste a lot of time on <laughs> me. Um, I, my history is not unlike a lot of folks. Cattle background, I spent a little time with a packer, was in academia for a number of years. Um, uh, had an opportunity to try to make some of those things I talked about for so long in a classroom a bit more real. Mm -hmm. That what's, is what brought me to this point. IGS, or International Genetic Solutions, is a collaborative effort of a whole host of breed associations who are trying to provide commercial cattlemen and cattlewomen serious tools that, that make genetics real. Uh, and make them as easy and effective and practical as possible. It's the largest genetic evaluation on the planet by a lot. It uh, allows to do a lot of composite crossbred comparison work. And so it becomes a bit more of a reflective model mm -hmm. of the cattle in the industry. So specifically, the tool you want to talk about today is the feeder profit calculator. It's a new tool that we developed over the course of the last year. We announced it just a few months ago. And its job is to help generate calf awareness, pervasive awareness of true calf profitability. So it's not necessarily a marketing tool like some of the other programs mm -hmm. out there. It can be used that way, but more accurately, it's an awareness tool. And so that, that producer who's generating quality calves has a tool that is third party um, validated, that helps them show what they do. But from a buyer's standpoint, it's a risk assessment, risk management tool that lets them go, okay, this is a no nonsense, down and dirty, dollars and cents kind of tool that can help me determine if this set of feeder calves makes sense for me. You know, when I received um, this article that you had sent over, one of the things that stuck out for me, and I had, had underlined several things, but really, I mean, right out front, right there in your face, it says you're backing your product by doing this. And how important do you feel like that is for people on both parties to realize? I mean, you want your po product to be backed and they want the product to be backed that they're purchasing. Well, so I think you, you bump into probably one of the biggest omissions that I think we find in the industry. We talk a lot at a seed stock or a commercial level. We lament that to a large extent, genetic awareness in the feedlot industry is hide color, ear length, and horn status. Mm -hmm. We haven't done a very good job of giving them something else. This tool is to help us meet in the middle and speak a common language so that that producer can say, this is what I've invested my time, my effort, my sweat equity in, and have something real to show that from a management preconditioning known genetic standpoint. But again, now that buyer goes, okay, you stand behind your product, you'll go to this trouble. Maybe I can justify going a few dollars more uh, for those cattle with some uh, true knowledge behind them. I feel like we could talk about this sure. all day. I know they're wrapping this up now. If people want more information about this, how can they go about getting some? Simple. Go to internationalgeneticsolutions.com. It'll take you from there. Perfect. Thank you for being on this morning, Chip. I greatly appreciate it. When we come back, Angela Vesco with the Gelby Association. Stay with us.